here it's Graham here um, I'm lucky enough to get out again this is a school nighter so Nick's at work in the morning so it's a quick in quick out we've just walked from the back of my house into uh, uh, some local woodland and uh, I get the feeling like nobody comes down this way at all there's lots of game trails but not really any sign of human activity and I didn't know this but I've just found this out uh, Nick is a much braver man than me uh, because this night is his wedding anniversary um, I wouldn't dare but I'm, I'm glad he's here I hope he can make it up though and a few people have asked me um, why Nick's got the nickname Silky Nick and so I asked if I could uh, asked him if I could tell you and he said keep them guessing um, but I'll tell you what it's uh, it's not as interesting uh, not as interesting as you would think oh. this looks like a good place to camp folks so we're gonna we're gonna pitch up here for tonight um, it's amazing how quick you lose the light just by walking into the canopy but it's uh, a sunny day but it's really um, dark inside here now which is fine it's a bit more stealthy so I'm going to use a, a plow point tarp and um, I'll get a pot underneath and I've got a new bit of kit to try I've got the um, XPED Ultra 3R Mummy uh, mat uh, when I saw Mountain Hopper 57's XPED mat in the flesh I thought yeah that looks quality so I've been saving up and I've got myself one of those so I'm excited to try that and I'm at the age where you get excited by sleeping mats I really do it's um, crackers man anyway I'll get set up So this is my new bit of kit and interestingly it comes with a schnozzle to blow it up and I think it's a great idea because um, I think I've ruined previous mats by blowing into them and getting them full of like humidity and then mould and I think it, it breaks them down, delaminates them, maybe even develops you know micro punctures and stuff so I've made it a rule that I'm not going to blow into this, this mat and uh, we'll see how well this works. The great thing about it is that it's big enough, I've been using it as a dry bag and sleeping bag as well, so it doesn't really add any extra weight. I think there's probably a technique to that that I haven't quite got yet but it's pumped up and uh, I'm going to see how comfortable it is tonight looking forward to it Hi guys, so something unusual happened this week I was um, I was in town at the Haymarket and uh, a fella stopped us and said are you Graham Parsnet? and uh, I shook his hand in that and he'd, uh, he'd recognised us from the channel he me videos cheered him up and stuff when he was watching them um, I was so proper chuffed, it was really good um, but I was, I was so uh, surprised I forgot to ask his name I would have given him a shout out but uh, uh, if you're watching drop a comment but uh, thank you whoever you are uh, made my day and my lovely wife was with us and she was like oh well we'll never hear the end of this <laughs> So that was, uh, that was cool, that was really nice. So I had my tea before I came out, so I'm not going to eat much now. Uh, I've just got some hot chocolate and I've got, I've got this, this magnificent uh, old antique. Um, it's cast, cast iron griddle plate. Um, my wife says it's been in her family for generations and thinks it was made in the you know, late 1800s or something. And I don't doubt it, like, it's, a, it's a beautiful bit of kit. So I'm going to um, have a first attempt to make and drop scones. So I've never used this griddle before. I've never made drop scones before. I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to record it. So it, it could be absolutely disastrous. Um, but let's hope it's not. Let's hope it turns out well. I 
thing is, that's, it's really hard to get this totally level. So I hope the batter starts to consolidate before it runs off the edge. As I said, this could be a disaster. Stay there. Hmm. Nick, I'd offer you a drop scone, but I. It looks very interesting. I don't think. Well, the trouble is, I think you, if you don't get it right level, it just runs off the end. You know. Can, can you get it to one side so you get it hot on one spot? Mm. All the fats run to the to the edge. Yeah. Now, see, it's not level, that's the uh, problem. Do you know what? I nearly downloaded the Spirit Level app on the phone to get it level. But then I thought I'm going over the top. But look at this, I wish I had now. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Let's keep that steady. Oh, pig's teeth. Ah, it's gonna fall. How? It tastes pretty good though. Mm. They do taste pretty good. Not bad at all. Do you want to try that? Yep. Mm -mm -mm. It's basically just like pancakes. Oh, Nick, that looks better. Well, hang on, I've got to flip it yet. I've got another fabulous bit of old kit to use, uh, hopefully a bit more successfully. But uh, I don't use this enough, the old Kelly kettle. And I think one of the nicest things about these is when you've used them a few times, uh, they've developed like an inside um, wood tar, like cotton, and it just smells like essence of buffy or essence of campfire love that smell if you could bottle that in an aftershave you know well maybe three people would buy it but i'd be one of them See what I get called rocket stoves. Mm-hmm. No standard with a top one. Like little Russian blinis, little crepes. Nick's got the hang of this in a way that I didn't. I always said that silky Nick can do anything. <laughs> oh that's delicious. Well you made it. <laughs> well, no, Nick, you do. I've, I've mixed you, the butter. You mixed it. So this feels like a really strange bit of woodland. It's like we camped here um, maybe two years ago, and there's no sign of anybody being down here since then. Um, it's it's bounded on one side by a train line. I'm actually maybe just 100 yards away from it. And on the other side, it's bounded um, after a bit of scrubland by uh, public woodland, and bounded on the other side by, um, you know, by a working farm. But this is a, a huge patch of woodland. Um, it just feels really wild, like like it's been left to itself. Um, we've already heard foxes screaming. Uh, I've seen deer down here before, and um, you know you can hear. We had a train pass them before, um, and like. We've set off a couple of pheasants, like feathery shotgun traps that you know, you know they burst out of the undergrowth and, and give you right fright. Um, it just feels like a really wild, peaceful woodland. Um, it's a fantastic place. It's great. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep it a bit of a secret. Um, you know, you saw you saw a bit of the walk in, um, but I don't think you can work it out. 
uh, from that. Um, it's great. Um, Nick has decided that um, he's going to have a little campfire, um, but we'll leave no trace. That'll be no sign of that in the morning. It's really good. Look, that's just a nice place to be. Right, it's time for me to get my head down. Uh, I've got an early start. Um, I've got the, this is just a standard uh, DD tarp. I've got it in a uh, plow point configuration. I'm always amazed at how much space you get. It's amazing. Um, especially when you, you've got the, the, the middle bit heightened out by another um, bit of power code. There's tons of room to cook and, and sleep in here. Um, and I've got my new mat to try it. It feels lovely and comfortable. Looking forward to it. I've got my summer bag, probably the last time I'll use it this year, and the Alka Elan Bivy, it's a nice bit of kit, I've been getting a bit of use out of it. There's tons of Johnny Spinners, uh, Daddy Longlegs, flying around, I noticed that last time I was camping, um, up on Simon's side, uh, come around the light, but I'm gonna just listen to a podcast and get my head down, so good night, folks, I'll see you in the morning. Hi chaps, had a pretty pretty good sleep last night, although I woke myself up about six o'clock in the morning. Um, I just dozed off again and I felt somebody come in under my plow point and grab my sleeping bag and, and start pulling us out the bivy by my legs, still in my sleeping bag. So um, I woke up shouting and screaming um, and, and obviously it was just a dream. It was so realistic though. It, uh, it woke Nick up in his hammock over there, um, but honestly. Um, if I'd been by myself, it just would have been really, really unnerving. Still, it's a good night. Thanks for coming along, and if uh, you like my videos, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Uh, comments always appreciated, and I'll see you on the next one.